Hey, hi everybody. It's the Papa from the Papa's Kitchen coming at you with another uh, recipe. And honestly, this one is a potential leftover from the turkey dinner kind of recipe if you want it. Um, I'm using, uh, actually for this, I ended up getting a rotisserie chicken and cutting it down. And uh, I, I haven't made my, when I'm recording this, I haven't made my uh, turkey yet. So. I'm using a little bit of a combination of both breast meat and a little dark meat in there, but I needed two cups. If you've got leftover turkey breast though, and it's nice and good still and all, which it should be, then get that and do this wonderful chicken parmesan stuffed spaghetti squash. Now, before I started this, I already went ahead, cut my spaghetti squash in half, uh, and I had a hard time you can tell I was going through that stem a little bit. I heard uh, Susan told me that there's a, a, a trick to it. What was it, uh, Sue? The trick was to put it in the microwave for a few minutes or something? Someone said put it in the microwave for a few minutes, or like two minutes or something, uh -huh. and it'll soften the skin. Soften the skin. So I went through there, and then I lay both halves on, the, uh, on their back. I scoop out all the junk in the inside, the nuts, uh, the seeds, excuse me, not the nuts, the seeds, and all the slime. And then I put uh, olive oil down in there, and then salt and peppered it, put it on a, a baking sheet with parchment paper, face down, and I put it in the oven at 400 for about 35 to 45 minutes. And so I'm about 15 minutes, not even 10, 12 minutes away from that get being ready because that you want it to pre-cook it. And then what we're going to do now is make the interior stuffing uh, for this uh, stuffed uh, spaghetti squash. And I we've used spaghetti squash for a long time. Uh, when. Uh, when we're on a diet particularly and we don't oh, want pasta not me I no, eat you it. like I'd rather eat yeah. it than pasta. and it is good I mean when you when you cook it and then sort of scrape it out and it looks like even a pasta of sorts you know uh, with the fiber and then you put it on your plate and put a marinara sauce over it well I'm sort of gonna be doing the same thing but this uh, this is really a very cheesy baked chicken parm with this spaghetti squash and what makes it great is it's very flavorful it's healthy and it's protein packed and um, this is going to be made with some fresh vegetables i even picked up some basil off of my garden thing back there we're going to use that i've got some onion i've got some tomatoes some garlic uh, i've got a little bit of chicken stock get yourself a jar of uh, marinara sauce and uh, in this case i had some rouse uh, vodka sauce, which I really enjoy. We're going to use that. And this even uses some fresh, and I picked it up the other day, fresh uh, uh, baby spinach. And we're going to put that in there. Then mozzarella, a little bit of parm, Parmesan cheese, and oh man, it's this going to be good. Pretty it's very pretty. It's very going to be, yeah, it's really, yeah. And so, and then we, after we get this all mixed together, what we do is we um, stuff these uh, squash, put them back in the oven bake them for just a little bit and then eat them and it's going to be good so here we go i've got um and, and by the way i took the uh the um, meat off the rotisserie chicken and cut that down into little small bite-sized pieces about two two and a quarter cup worth of that you don't need a whole lot and uh to make this good and all i'm doing i'm taking my little cherry tomatoes here and i'm cutting them in half and i'm going to get ready to um uh, saute these so that they become soft along with my onion and um, what I am going to do is um, just dice this onion down as well and get this uh, man the, the, the last two onions that I've used in this the kitchen have really been really tough yeah <laughs> it's really been crazy really had a hard time getting the skin off what's the deal here and so there we go okay and we've got one here. Let me just take this and do this real quick. <clears throat> Boy, I hope no one in your household was sick this holiday season. Oh my season. goodness, I hope not. It's really, it's I, going around. I picked Something, it up yeah. and brought it home yeah. from, from my trip up north. And man, it took me about five days. I still got, you can still hear it in my nose. I can hear it in your head. But for the first time ever, I feel like I'm back in the land of the living. Well, and that's why she's not on the video with me. Well, here. I haven't been. No, why well, you haven't been, right? No. You just I feel like it could be today, but 
Could you? Yeah. You want to get on here? What do you want me to do? Well, I don't want you to do anything yet, but because mm. uh, there's not too much here to do, fortunately or unfortunately, however you want to state it. But I'll tell you what, if you could just reach around and pour about... Well, I helped a, you a little bit. Yeah, ago, pour, so. do that then. Pour about a tablespoon. Let me get this going. Pour about uh, a, a, a tablespoon and a half. Tablespoon. No, don't worry. Just pour a little bit in there and we're going to get that sauteing. Whoop. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good enough. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. There we go. And let me just cut this down as well. I'm not as good as Eli. No, Eli did a good job. Hey, I did thing. notice though uh, that we do have a couple of new viewers and so oh. people probably wonder mm -hmm. who is the voice behind the camera. Well, you're the, oh, you're the voice. I am. You're the voice. I'm the other half of the papa. Yep. Yes. That's right. You're the nana. Yes. So as that oil heats up. You know what? <laughs> My face wasn't in any of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's probably. It was just because I had it down it on the food. Still, did you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So wait, stop. Just okay. a second. All Let's right. make this real. All right, here I'm we go. I'm the nana. She's and, the nana. And obviously, I don't do my part that well. No, you do. You do very well. Well, the whole time I about? was on that, I. Oh, I see. It no. It's like this shot. Oh, now. yeah. Well, you you need uh, a, another camera person for you. That's all yeah, that is. Right. So. All righty. So, anyhow, that oil's coming up to heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to just very. Um, Can you smile today? Am I not smiling? <laughs> you know why? I'll tell you, you why. You didn't laugh at that whole segment. You know what? You know why? Because I'm I'm a sun man. That out there yes, is it's nasty. not very pretty. It's pr not pretty. It's <laughs> raining. It's blowing. It's overcast. I can't hardly see across the river. It's nuts. And I even have a sweater on because I came home from church and I'm cold. Yeah. So fooey on it. I tell you, man. I. I'm moody I'd rather have way. snow than rain. I think I am moody. Do you, are you moody with this? Yes, you are. I do. You know think that. you're moody? Yeah. No, you're moody <laughs> as it relates to the weather. I know it. So anyhow, I'm going to put my uh, onions and my cherry tomatoes in here, and I'm going to sauté them for about three or four minutes until they're softened and a little, and the onions are a little translucent. And you wouldn't have to cut your tomatoes. I just did because I feel like they're whole and. You know what? I'm a funny guy. I don't like I don't like biting through a, a, a cherry tomato. I like it cut. I don't. What is, I I don't know, what is the deal that with that? I don't know. I, I, don't I know love either, cherry tomatoes. It is what it is. I guess. I like putting that whole thing in my mouth and it just pops. Pops. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that. Mm -mm. Gotta be careful. It's not. Too yeah. Big. And make sure your mouth is closed <laughs> when it pops. Or, right. Or else you'll squirt everybody around you. <laughs> there you go. So about three or four minutes of this and uh, that's going to be cool and then what we're going to do once that's all done is we're going to um, add in uh, so, uh, some of this minced garlic and I've got about four or five cloves of minced garlic here that's going to be added in we're going to make sure that that gets all incorporated I'm going to salt and pepper and I'm going to stir for about another minute or so minute and a half with that then I'll put my chicken in uh, I'll put uh, the marinara sauce, and what I'm going to be doing is two cups of this marinara or this vodka sauce. I need to start chopping this down because I need on um, this. I'm needing a um, one cup of uh, this uh, baby spinach is what I got here, and uh, let me just start chopping this. Oh man, some real big. I don't want these stalks in here. Jerry, what there. was that show on TV where um, there was the neighbor and you never saw him? Oh, phone? yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> what was that show? Oh, here we go again with Can We Remember Things? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. It's not Cracker Barrel. Oh, I know that. No. Um, it's it um, Tim. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tim, Tim the, the Tool, tool Man. man. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, and his neighbor. What was the neighbor's name? Oh, I forget the name. I, I don't think I ever thought of his name. I don't think I watched name. that show that much. But. So. It was when yeah, you should have. So it was really good. It was hilarious, wasn't it, though? But the neighbor's face was never seen no. totally. He was I mean, always behind the uh, fence. You could see his eyes, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. I think that was a real cool little thing they did on that show uh, with that. <laughs> it just kept you sort of always yeah. guessing. Yeah, you wondered if you were ever going to really see the see neighbor. See the guy. <laughs> well, that's what these people feel about me. Maybe. They wonder if they're ever going to see really the lady see behind them. Susan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could very well be. Yeah. 
So well, I need about a cup of this and that's, yeah, there's a cup right there. Maybe I should always just leave the camera down <laughs> no. when I come around to no, no, talk. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Okay, here, let's keep this going. Oh, that's looking really nice. Another minute on that for so. My Alexa's gonna beep at me here in about a minute with my squash. And honestly, with the squash, all I want is I want them sort of browned uh, lightly on the outside and that they're, when you put a fork in them, they're fork tender. So that's basically what I want. Now, that's looking good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, garlic in. There we go. And get that stirred around. Boy, it's already starting to smell good. I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. I don't know about you, but I do love the smell of garlic when it's cooking and sauteing. Great. And garlic goes with a lot of you stuff. You can do too much. No. Nope. You, you can. can. No, I know you can. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Okay, and then um, salt and pepper here. And my salt, Alexa off. There we go. Oh, I think so a lot nice. of countries use garlic. You know, I have a lot of people do. More than us. Asian, yeah. European, everything here. Yeah, not so much the Europeans, but the, yeah. any other culture yeah. does. Okay, and, and there you can smell it, and that's well, what you want, that nice fragrance. Yeah. Then, Europeans, Italians use a Italians, lot of yeah. garlic. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cut up chicken in there and uh, stir that around and then I'm going to um, make sure that's all coated in all that onion and garlic. I just love that. <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, then I'm going to put in my marinara sauce, my chicken broth, uh, and uh, this uh, spinach and basil and the Parmesan cheese. Okay, I've got my, I did, oh, right here. Um, and I, I can put the spinach in. I'm gonna put this, uh, about a, a half a cup of my chicken broth. There you go. I'm going to put in two cups, let's get my spoon here, of, um, I love it when some of these chefs I watch, they can do this by eyeballing, and I just am not able to yet. This vodka, vodka sauce, or you can use a regular marinara sauce. Whatever you got around, it's the way to sort of make sure your inventory in your pantry gets. There we go. Put that in there. Oh man, it's coming really good. And then I want to get some, and I picked these, this basil, off of my, um, my, um. Which are, we're going to show you one day. You know what, I'm going to put we this in We have enlarged our garden. Yeah, it's really look, looking we'll good. show you, it's just starting to these really are, take off. These smell so good. Let me just take it's these. Holy basil. And it's, it's wonderful. And um, I'm going to rough chop that in there. You need about a quarter cup. This is not quite that, but I'll do I some fresh some basil. Yeah, but I'll get some more and do it as a uh, garnish. Okay. On top, it'll just be fine. Just got to love that smell. That's just wonderful. And really, all you want to do is stir this around. And then the only other thing that I need. Uh, Sue, is can you come over here and right here open that uh, lid on that Parmesan cheese uh, uh, unit there for me, if you would. There we go. And let me take that in just a second, but I need a half a cup of that in here. And uh, there we go. Oh, this is looking good. And I'll tell you what, get you on camera. Would you take a hot pad and pull out those um, uh, squash out of the oven? Put them on the stove and see if they're tender, fork tender here. Take no, a fork. No, and a half a cup of this. This is good stuff. Put this in here like this. Another half a cup of this in here. A quarter cup rather in here. A little bit extra. Oh, that's just really nice. And all you want to do, you just want to make sure everything is stirred and incorporated here because this is going to be your filling uh, so for your spaghetti. You don't want the back side to it. No, 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 it's the inside. You'll have to turn it over. Sorry, I should have mentioned that to you. The back side, we don't eat this. Yeah, skin. it's plenty. Is it great? Yeah. Are they browned a little bit? I'm curious. Uh, on the back side. Okay, mm -hmm. great. You want it off or Yeah, uh, no, no, uh, keep, it, uh, keep it on. 
Uh, I'm going to bake that. Uh, how do I want to bake that? Um, I gotta think about it for a second. What I'm gonna do with that? I think just leave it on 400. 400? Yeah, I think so. It's not gonna bake long. Like, uh, like it's. In fact, you know what? I think what I'll do is broil this. Like, it's gonna be broiled for. So let's just take it off, turn it off, and I'll put it, the broiler on. That's the way we're gonna do this. It'll be easier, and I can do it for about. <laughs> three to five minutes to be done. All right, so now it's bubbling and that's what you want. So wh when this is ready, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this, uh, remove those from the oven, the, the uh, spaghetti squash, you're gonna flip them over, keep them on that same tray. In fact, let me bring that over here and we'll just get this thing ready to go. Okay, and one last item I'm putting in as well, beyond the Parmesan, I'm putting in a half a cup of shredded mozzarella and this to me is the binder it's really the good stuff it makes everything taste right there we go so now what i'm going to do my spaghetti squash are sitting here they're ready and we're just going to load these in fact i've got more than i need because this recipe called for uh two i mean yeah two small spaghetti squash so there should be four here but um I only bought one because it's just you and I, Sue. So, off we go. Do this so we don't make a mess. I'm going to load that in there. Beautiful. You can have the leftover of this. We'll put it in the Tupperware and I can do it again another day. That's right. And this spaghetti squash. I couldn't eat a whole one anyway, I don't think. Ah, uh, well, we'll, it makes see. you wonder, but yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That is just so nice. Let me get rid of this stuff here. Oop. And that is how we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do here, uh, folks, is we're going to take this, we're going to stick it in um, uh, with this parm filling, uh, and I'll put a little bit, and you know what, this is what you do, this, this will be good. Put a little bit more mozzarella on top. Oh, yeah, of course. Be, uh, oh boy. Yeah, because everything's hot, yes, so you don't absolutely. have to Yes, absolutely. You're not cooking anything, that's exactly mm -hmm. right. But instead of baking it, let's broil it. And just for a few moments, okay. it'll brown that up nicely and we'll be ready. And honestly, once you get past just doing the cooking of the, the squash ahead of time, mm -hmm. this is a very quick meal to put together for a mid midweek meal. Uh, again, like I mentioned, leftovers with your chicken breast or whatever the case may be, it's gonna be good. Let me get my, uh, hang on, and we're gonna put You this can always put it on pasta. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's exactly right. There we go. And in it goes, and we're going to stick that broiler on, and I'm going to watch it because you don't want anything to burn. And here we go. And I put it on a low broil, and I'll go for about three minutes. Uh, Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. We'll be right back, and I'll show you the finished product. All right, that looks great. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. Was it hard putting it on the plate? A little bit, but I got it, and we did fine. I'm going to split this in half with you. <laughs> right. I just wanted to show everybody with it whole. Mm, yes. And honestly, it doesn't, I don't think it's that big, but we've got more, another one if right. you need it. Uh, but I'll put it on a different plate. Look at this again. Leftovers, you can use turkey or chicken. Uh, easy, quick assembly, tasting out of this world. I already had a bite of the filling, it's wonderful. And with the spaghetti squash, it just works. It just works. And again, it's very healthy, but very flavorful. And it doesn't take a lot of time to put together. That's sort of like what I like about the thing. You take this, put it on a plate, add a side salad with it, or maybe a nice piece of country bread. You got it made. Ooh, what a, what a, bread. Yeah, that I got some bread. Good. Doesn't <laughs> sound good, yeah. So yeah. there you go, folks. I'm gonna get into it. We're gonna have our dinner here this Sunday afternoon. And uh, you uh, go ahead and try this recipe out. Let me know what you think. I know you're gonna like it. Easy. And if you've never worked with spaghetti squash, hey, right now, step out, chance. get near the lines. Yeah, now's uh, your chance. It's one of my favorites. It is. I know it is. Good. Yeah. All right. We'll come back maybe and do a real quick recap in a sec. Okay. Let us give you a recap. That was that was good. Did you like it? I loved it. And you know the difference is the chicken. Yeah. And then fresh basil yeah, or that. fresh yeah. something. Yeah, in fresh. It, you know, and by the way, if some people are allergic to basil or don't like it, the taste, mm -hmm. I have friends even that don't, uh, use parsley. But that fresh, you're right, that fresh 
uh, greenery in there. Yes. It just really makes it, along with the spinach yes. that was in there, yeah. But that's the difference to me because... You're looking at me like I got something in my no. teeth. Do I have something in my teeth? Do I? No. <laughs> All right. So anyhow, what a great meal on a very gloomy day. I mean, yeah. this is like comfort food kind of stuff, and it was good. And I only did half... Uh, uh, I mean, what it calls for a two squash yes. and cut, so that's four of them. That feeds a family of four, because um, I couldn't eat more than half. No, but we can freeze this, mm -hmm. and, and then yeah. we can and look have at, a... Uh, and if, if I'm gone and you want to do this, pull it out, yes. do the squash like we did, yeah. and then um, if it's a little clumpy because of the cheese that's in there, yeah. take a little chicken broth and put it in the skillet and stir it around. I That'll like undo the, it. I like you the like cheese You like the clumpy, clumps. yeah. And do like it, and you'll have a good meal. So anyhow... It's economical. It's economical. Awesome. It's tasty. It's yeah. just cheesy, which I love like she does too. And uh, it's a keeper. So. This this is a good recipe. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Yeah. Anyhow, whatever you're doing during this holiday season, uh, stay safe, stay, stay warm, try to smile more than I've been doing here with this lousy weather, and uh, have a good holiday. Yeah, you smile. I was just teasing you. No, but I, I don't. I just you're right. like I my jokes today. Yeah, no. <laughs> have a good evening. All right, see ya. <laughs>